was just gave and worship. I just feel like, you know, we had prayer in the office today, and I just feel like something good is going to happen in this place today. But we're going to He's not going good, but that's going to have a good way. That's the main thing. You know, you can pray all you want to. You can ask him for anything you want to. But then if you don't accept what he's got for you, it's no good. That's like Nancy. When she cooks, she don't have to ask me twice to go to the table over there. I'm ready.
had the theater Wednesday night. Well, it showed up. It was great. It was fantastic. Y'all got your bellies full. Um, and uh, I tell you, we had some prizes there and stuff. So we just got a small gift for you today. So don't forget. So glad, so glad to have you here today. Uh, Wednesday night is a prayer service at 6.30, so don't forget that. We will be having church this Wednesday night. And uh, also on Sunday morning is men's Bible study at 9.45. On Monday night it's ladies at 5.30. And then on Thursday nights for everyone, and it's at 6.30. So uh, be sure to get involved. And uh, God's good. We had a little incident this week, but God is good. Yes. Someone broke in our uh, building up on the hill and uh, bashed out one of the glass doors there, but nothing was taken. And I feel like that God, in all His power and all His might, took care of us. Yes. And I believe, I believe that God is going to return to us. Those things that the enemy has tried to do is going to be given back to us. And I, I just thank the Lord that, that the Lord's protection. And I, I, told, I, told, I, I told my dad that uh, yesterday or the day before, I guess it was Friday that I talked to him and we were talking about what happened. And I said, I just really, I hope that the Holy Ghost power of God scared all who the enemy is that. And, and my dad said, you know, he, he started speaking in tongues on the phone with me. And he said, I just see them angels just gathered all around me. And I'm telling you, God can do that.
Father, we thank you for showing up for being here, God. Lord, that you are a very present help in the time of trouble. So glad that you're aware of every one of us, mindful of us. You know right where we are today. We are so honored that you are here right in the middle of us today. We want to glorify you. We want you just to know we can't do anything without you, God. Lord, it takes your presence, your anointing. We praise you for being here. You know every person here aware, mindful, you know all about them. Pray that you will touch them today. In the name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody say Amen. Amen. So glad that you're here today. Sure glad that Pat came back from you from about Maryland. <laughs> Father 
You've seen the Father. He is the express image of who God is. Why is it good news? Now, how many of you know that Jesus loved? Didn't he have compassion? He was yeah. a forgiving God. Oh. Right? If you read the story in Luke chapter 15 about the prodigal son, he was a forgiving father, right? He was compassionate. And he accepted him when he came back. I mean, he had a party. I mean, the way God has a party when somebody gives her heart to him. Yeah. I said, how many of you think God knows yeah. how to party when somebody gives her heart? He's waiting for that purpose. Hallelujah. I 
to the coffee cup, and I can hear them, and it sounded like they were like somewhere else. What? You reckon he's okay? And I can hear them. I'm like, I was like somewhere I've never experienced that. I was somewhere that I could hear them, and, and I was kind of laughing inside, and I'm thinking, I'm very okay. I'm right in the presence of the Father. Paul said he, what he knew, man, he didn't even in the third heaven. That experience the presence of God, can I tell you, you'll never be the same. You won't be in and out of church. You won't be wishy-washy. You won't be up and down. But here's the thing. See, you got to know the way, the doctrine, right? You got, how many know you got to know the doctrine? You can't just shout because you feel good. You can't just run the aisle because, man, we had a great service. What, what did the preacher preach on? I don't know, but it was good. We run out. We swung from the rocks. They run, brother, so and so ran halfway up the wall. I don't know how they got shared us. Well, what did they preach on? I don't know. <laughs> but we felt good. But how many knows Monday morning? You're not going to feel the same way. But if you know what the Word says, you know the way. You know the way, then you can enjoy the destination and the experience with God. Hallelujah. You've got to have the ball, right? you got to know Amen. Oh. We, we 
some gold man and just you know, do some stuff and, and find out. Can I tell you who you are? You belong to the Father. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He has a purpose and a plan. What do you think Generation X? Generation X. Generation born after that of the baby boomers. Roughly between the early 60s to mid-1970s. Often perceived to be disaffected and directionless. I want you to know we have a direction. We have a father. We have a call. And he knows who you are. I don't want to be a part. I know they put labels and they put names. But if you're a born again Christian, you have direction for your life. For your life.
no place, how many know there's no place like home? There's no place like home. That's why the devil wants to destroy homes, families, relationships. He wants to come in between. That's his whole purpose. Amen. Woo, I'm glad for the Father today. I'm glad for the Father. Aren't you glad that in all the insecurity in the world today, how many know we can trust Him? Yes. There's no shadow of turning in Him, right? Matthew 10, 29, Jesus said, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? Two of them, two birds for a farthing, probably one penny, a little cheap copper coin, I imagine. And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. He knows it. If he knows about that, he said in verse 30, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value. How many know of every human being? More value than many sparrows. Look at your neighbor and say, You're worth more than two words. <laughs> many sparrows. The Lord loves you.
lead you. The way, the truth, and the life will lead you to the Father. Come on, let's spend some time in His presence.
Watch us over this week. Keep us safe. Nice and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.